Hey everyone, Corinne from the Red Carpet Report. Today we have a sneak peek behind the scenes talking to the cast of So You Think You Can Dance. Since we only have one minute, one minute. I want to know what you love to do because you guys are so insanely talented in dance, but what do you like to do outside of dance? Outside of dance, I like to fish and I love to play baseball. Play baseball? Well, that takes some coordination, so I'm, so, I'm sure you're magical at that. I was three. And what about dance? Dance, I've only been dancing for two years. What? Yeah. Oh my God. And you killed the stage the way you did? I guess. Yes. <laughs> yes, and for you, you're beyond your years. That performance was insane you. tonight. Yes. Um, you are a lady. Yes. Where does it come from? What experiences do you think that you've had in life that are like you were allowed to like really feel and display it in your dance? Um, I feel like there's not like a moment in life because I'm still quite young so I haven't experienced that much yet but my mom and my dad are always there continually telling me to stay humble and stay kind and always be respectful no matter what and no matter even no matter how crazy it gets and it's this year has been pretty cool and even the fact that we're here at the summer like uh, like on national television it's quite overwhelming and I feel like they've constantly been keeping me to stay grounded and just like don't don't get overwhelmed and with just this with this with a, press <laughs> and just and all the crazy that comes along with it yes. right yeah of course and you need that rest but you guys are your abilities with your bodies is just beyond I can't even put it into words that whole, that whole leg thing you. period you you're a queen I didn't know where that leg was gonna go <laughs> Thank you. I don't know either. <laughs> Were you always that flexible? Um, no. Actually, at the age of at the age of eight, I started to work on my flexibility, and because I got so inspired by other dancers. But when I was younger, like I couldn't do splits. I was like back row dancer. I was so not good. I was super chubby, and I just like didn't like. My mom thought I had no future in dancing at all, and she she's my dance teacher. And, so I just worked super, super hard, and I can't believe that we're actually here right now. Well, that's the best word of advice you can give to everyone out there who wants to either be a dancer or anything else, right? Yeah, What's a word of advice from you? Uh, what Tate said, always stay humble and kind. That's one of my favorite sayings in the world. And another thing is to always work hard and never listen to the other people that are saying stuff to you. Just always be yourself and basically... Believe in yourself. Right? Yeah, of course. Well, you've got it. Don't ever stop. This is just one chapter to the, your big, big journey. I'm excited for you. Thank you so much. And I'm excited for you, too. <laughs> Thank you. Have some fun tonight, get some rest, and I loved watching you. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, everyone, thanks for watching. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to vote for your favorite dancer. Bye.